This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. I'm not being paid, they just sent me the pack early. Feels good to be back. So the new Dream Home Decorator Game Pack comes out on June 1st. I've been playing with it a bunch today, and I must say, I think this is my favorite game pack ever. And I've literally just done one build. Like, I didn't even play with the gameplay part yet. I recognize that this pack is like right up my alley, and it might not be for you, but this- <laughs> This pack is for me. This is my dream pack, literally. The name of the pack is very appropriate, in my opinion. I built this house using the new game pack. Some notable features it includes are number one, the new ability to make sectional sofas. These are fully customizable. They work just like counters. So you can turn on auto placement and you can place your sofa together, maybe turn a corner and it will automatically turn the corner with you. So realistically, you can kind of like snake the sofa around however you want. You can, you can do literally whatever, but you can also custom place them and they have a couple extra pieces. They have this rounded corner piece. They have some end pieces that you can use and they also have a single like lounge chair that you can use. Same thing with these longer parts. They have a middle piece, they've got both end pieces, and then they have a, a piece with the sides on it. And you can combine this together to make whatever you'd like. I mean, I made this sectional sofa here, made another one upstairs in like a little hangout space. It also comes with two new kitchen counter sets. I used one of them in here, but we also have this set as well. And one of the most notable things is that for the first time ever, you can separate the oven and the stove. So usually stoves in The Sims come like this. It's, it's one solid piece, very common in real life too, but a lot of houses have a separate stove top and separate oven. And for the first time ever, we can do that in The Sims. So they've added two different ovens that slot into the counters. One costs 525, one costs 840. And they've also added two different cooktops that slot into the counters as well. One electric and one gas stove cooktop. They cost 580 and 890. And they've added these countertop ovens. Now from the trailer, I thought they were toaster ovens, like with a separate functionality. They're not they're ovens, <laughs> like a full oven. It works just like this one will, but you can put it on the counter. So you place it like a microwave and then you can put it anywhere and your Sims can use it to cook any baked goods. So now you can decide if you want to have a kitchenette and you don't want to have a stovetop, you just want to have a toaster oven in your house, maybe no microwave, nothing else. You can do that and your Sims will only be able to cook things that only use the oven, for example. Just like how always, if you only had a fridge and a counter, you could cook like fruit salad and salad because they didn't need a stove. Now, if you only have an oven or if you only have a stove, maybe you can only make eggs, but you can't bake a cake because you only have a stovetop. Does that make sense? Which I think is pretty cool. It also allows for so much customization with your builds. I mean, this pack is really, like the definition of custom, right? Custom sofas, all these custom kitchen pieces. They added like a million new beds. If you look at this, oh my God. So there's five new single beds, two new double beds, and four new bunk beds. There's a few other models of bunk beds here, but that's because some of them come like pre slotted together with other pieces just to make it easier for you. So you can use just this bunk bed by itself and then slot like a bed into it if you want, or you could have it pre-slotted with a double bed. This one's got a desk. You know, you get the picture. <laughs> but they added so much new furniture. Like this pack has furniture for every room. They've got living room furniture, all this bedroom furniture. And they also have these fully customizable modular pieces of furniture. This is not just one item. In fact, this is a million separate items. This is one item. This is one item. This is one item. Each of these cabinets up top are separate. The cabinets down below are separate. And you can slot the clothes in yourself. So you can pick whatever clothes you want and then you can pick whatever swatches you want and you can separate them. All these shoes as well, slot it in. You can change them however you'd like. They just have a shoe item now. So I like put some by the door, you know? I just, oh, this pack is so cool. I did something similar over here with like a custom TV unit. So the main piece that I started with is this one, this like little TV stand, looks like this. And then I slotted bookshelves onto either side and then I slotted some cabinets up top. Each of these little cubbies is separate <laughs> and you can put whatever you want inside of them too. So you can like really customize these builds now. I'm just, I am like obsessed with it. As per usual, we have a ton of new cast options for feminine frame sims, and they really are all very cute. Masculine sims, though, have a lot less options. This always happens, and most of the time their options are a bit lame. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. We have two plaid shirts. Some of it is locked in the career, which I find really annoying. I'm not gonna lie. I really don't like it when things are locked behind a career, especially cast stuff. They've done better recently with at least showing you that there are things you can unlock through the career. But for example, in Eco Lifestyle, did you know there's a ton of cast that you can unlock in the career? Probably not, because they don't show you. There's like really cute earrings and stuff that like you would just never knew existed. And it's a shame because they make this great cast and then it gets locked and, and you can't ever touch it without a cheat. And in some cases you can't even access it at all. Only two masculine hairs as well. Both things that we have a lot of too. Like we pretty much have both of these hairs in 
more than one form already. We have three new hairs for feminine frame sims. We have this one, we've got this one, and we have this one, which is beautiful, and we have it with and without baby hairs. They've been doing a really good job with hairs recently. Kids got a couple things. Even toddlers have a couple things. Pretty decent cast, considering it's a build pack. I'm not gonna do like a full overview of the create a sim or build items, but I am sure my friends will, so I'll link some down below once they're posted. Now I wanna show you the new career. Please ignore that I just quit it. <laughs> I want to show you how to select it. It's called the interior decorator career. It's about two things, having a good eye for design and building relationships with clients. Median gig pay is 600. That I think is pretty good. So it works kind of like the other freelance careers where you go in and then you select a gig. When you first get started, you don't have many options to pick from. You kind of have to level up your career and your reputation in order to get more gigs, which makes sense. You can see they have a lot of like specific ones like walk-in closet, bathroom, kids room. The first one is just room. <laughs> <laughs> room renovation. And depending on what packs you have, you can get lots of different sims in lots of different worlds. And as you level up, you can even add rooms, you can renovate the entire level of a house, you can add a second floor. Eventually you can even do community lot renovations. But for now, we renovate a room. And now I have to wait <laughs> hours and hours and hours until it's time to go. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna sleep. I don't have my mods installed right now, so I can't cheat to the morning. Just one thing that I think we should note, your reputation really matters when you're an interior decorator. What is wrong with you? It's hideous from disliking the decor? <gasps> you're hideous! Anyway, <laughs> your reputation can be impacted by your interactions with your clients. So for example, it's probably not a good idea to show up to work smelly, probably shouldn't be rude to your clients, you know, probably pee before you show up so you don't pee your pants when you get there, that kind of thing. I'm also pretty pleased with the average gig payouts. I hate getting rich too fast in this game. I just think it's not fun once you have too much money. And this gig pays about 540 simoleons. We might get a tip if we do a good job. And I think that's a decent amount. I don't need to get rich fast. It's time, let's go to work, okay? No pressure. I could also choose to destroy their home if I so pleased. I'm just saying. Of course it's raining. <laughs> Lovely day. Okay, knock on the door. Basically, when you show up, you're gonna wanna talk to the clients, get to know them a little bit, interview them to find out what they like, what they don't like, send client away. No, not yet. But in houses like this one, where there's more than one sim, they probably have more than one preference. So, you know, Justin might love green, but his wife might hate it. And then what do you do? <laughs> you have to try and find some sort of balance. Oh, dislikes mischief, okay. Oh. Dislikes red, dislikes violence. That's really unhelpful. <laughs> Do you like anything maybe that you could help me with? No? Why is my fun so low? Uh oh, okay, I did not think this through. So you can click on the floor to take before and after photos. I think I'm gonna redo their kitchen. You can also use your phone or a camera if you have one on you, but I think it's easy to just like click on the floor because then she'll stand where I want her to. <laughs> now I'm gonna send the clients away. Goodbye, now I can build. Okay, thank you very much. We have a really decent budget, like 6,000 simoleons, and when you delete the thing things they already have, it adds to your budget. And they had a really, 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 really expensive fridge. So we have a lot to work with here. Oh, so you can't like extend the house or anything. You can just redecorate the inside, at least at this point. Oh, that looks so cool. We have a lot of money, so I'm gonna give them some fancy appliances. <laughs> Only the best for this family. Do you know what? It's like genuinely a shame they didn't give us more to work with. <laughs> like, let's be real. Dislikes red and dislikes violin is extremely unhelpful. <laughs> Do you think that looks weird? It looks a little bit weird. Fine. <laughs> when you click on their likes and dislikes, it takes you to what they hate, so you can like automatically filter through it all. So you know, if you want to look through everything ever that is red, just to bother them. Maybe I'll get like a red swatch of something. <laughs> Don't quite like the red swatches of anything. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Maybe we could use that. Look, it's their fault for not giving me more to go off of. Their house is so big. <laughs> this looks so weird, just like thrown in there. I did not pick a color scheme that matches their house at all. <laughs> I could probably say that I'm done. You can also go to the location of the original photos and it'll take your sim there. No, not before, no, 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 after, after. Oops, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. So that you can take your after photos from like a similar spot. Would it be wrong of me to watch TV at their house while they're gone? Look, I'm in a bad mood. Does that tree clip? Has that always clipped? Everything wrong with The Sims 4 cats and dogs. They're built for a disaster. I never even noticed that before. Angry. Oh, you need to calm down. Okay, then I'm gonna call the clients back. Oh, okay, sorry. Let's select the before and afters for the reveal. Number one, number one. Number two, number two. Number three, number three. Number three. There, I'm ready. Oh my god. <laughs> Hurry up and quit pooping! You are gonna- this is not good! You're going to ruin the client's day! <laughs> okay, let's reveal the renovations. Oh, look at how excited they are! Oh, they don't look excited at all. They look very nervous. I did a good job! It's not my fault your house is bad. Uh-oh. But I didn't do over here. Oh, okay. We're going through the bathroom into the kitchen. <gasps> look! Look at how much better it is! See? You're welcome. I love this. <laughs> I love the little slideshow they make. Oh, 
stunning. You can also replay it if you want, if you missed it. And obviously it plays the photos in the order that you selected, so it won't like mess up. I was not expecting this. This was a very pleasant surprise in the pack. It's a really cool feature. And all those photos, you have them in your inventory, but they also get stored on this hard drive. So you have all of your before and afters always like saved there, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna have them come check out my stuff. Take a look at this chair. Am I right? How about this? <laughs> The red painting. I forget which one of them didn't like red. Oh, he likes it. Okay. Oh, puppy. Oh, the kid doesn't care about it. Oh. Oh dear, that's a bad omen. Take a look at this. Oh wait, look at how there's- <laughs> Do you see how there's three clients? Was I meant to interview the kid too? Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, I'm sorry, little buddy. I totally did not. I, I didn't even think about that. You live here too, little guy. I should have given you more attention. Okay, they're looking around. Oh, she's ready to talk about it. Uh-oh. What do you got? I guess you did a good job. It's just not my taste. Technically, all the boxes were checked, just not feeling it. Well, if you had given me more advice, you just told me you didn't like violins. How? What am I meant to do with that? Is he crying? What is wrong with him? Oh, I think he loves me. Okay, good, because your wife sucks. Okay, the kid's ready for me now, too. <laughs> what if the kid's like, it's ugly and I hate you? Oh, I think he liked it. I didn't get a, a tip, though. Dang it. <laughs> Well, that's fine. That's cool. I'm not upset. I can still hear the storm from Brindleton Bay. It's followed me home. It's a pretty decent work day too. Like she got home at five, nine to five, and obviously you could go faster or slower depending on how long it takes you, which is kind of fun. And because it's freelance, like you can choose what days you want to work. I like that about it. I like this game. Oh my God. I just re-enabled my mods, so I loaded back into the world, and it didn't have this house here. It had like the default base game house in the in the map, so I thought that I didn't save the house, and I started freaking out. But we're fine. It's here. Everything's good. I'm gonna promote myself a few times so that we can do some cooler gigs. I'm level six. At this point, I have access to like almost all of them. We can renovate like entire levels, living rooms and kitchens, add rooms. I think I'm gonna go do a walk-in closet addition. I think I might just not shower before work today just to see what happens. What are my clients gonna do about it, hmm? I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna stink up their house. Bit unpleasant outside. <laughs> Wait, she's showering! St oh no! But I want to stink up the house! How dare you? Okay, off to work we go. How am I meant to add a walk-in closet to this house? Do you know what? I didn't even think about that. Genuinely, like what am I meant to do? I'm gonna ruin the whole house. <laughs> okay, he doesn't like mixology. Is he standing away from me on purpose? <laughs> oh, they like yellow. Okay. Oh, we don't like basics. What? Ask to see your Simtris board, please. What do you like? Piper is doing something unprofessional. Continue behaving poorly on the job will result in Piper being fired from the gig. Okay. <laughs> I think you should leave. Does that say she doesn't like gardening, by the way? Dislikes gardening. Dislikes gardening. <laughs> Excuse you? What do you mean? I don't want to add floor tiles. I'm going to ruin the house. It looks so good how it is. I don't want them to have a walk-in closet, I've decided. Okay, I guess we can delete this window. Oh, wait. I can't move this? So we can delete windows, but not their existing furniture. So you pretty much can, like, only put the walk-in closet over here. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> can the closet be, like, fully the size of the bathroom? Bathroom. I think it should. Okay, that's clipping. Maybe it could be smaller. Maybe it could be like three wide. Okay, dislikes basics decor. That's not good. <laughs> So you can filter by style, like that's one of the tags you can filter by, and they, they have all these different styles of decor. I feel like basics is not a good sign for us. I don't think the new furniture counts as basics though. Yes, we should be okay. Well, we could put this yellow dresser. No, that's horrible. We can hang up some nice yellow clothes for them. Maybe some yellow plants. I don't know. How about this mirror? Oh, they don't like plants. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just don't like gardening. Oh, interesting what's tagged as gardening. Does this mean that I should like get rid of this stuff? Are they gonna get mad at me if it's there? It's very inconvenient. It's not my fault you hate your house. <laughs> I'm not like a magic worker, okay? There's only so much I can do for you. We can give him some shoes. Maybe a bunny. Llama, that's a llama, not a bunny. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what more they want from me. I might just call it a- I didn't take before photos. Hmm. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. I'll just take some. Do I dislike photography? Yeah. Look, they even have this gardening stuff in- Look, there's gardening in the bathroom. I've done a bad job <laughs> with this one. It's not my fault. Should I use their shower? I don't want to get fired. Actually, I kind of do want to get fired. I'm just going to put random photos as the before and afters. This is bad. Okay, but now that we know that you can take the before photos after, you could like make the house house worse, like put dirt and trash everywhere, take the before photos, and then fix it and take the after photos so it looks like you did a lot, like a really dramatic upgrade. I'm going to reveal the renovations. Oh, I look horrible and I'm smelling up the place. What are they doing? Oh, I showed them the outside. Oh, that makes sense. This is so dumb. 
<laughs> Please disregard this. Rose, oh, she's having a really bad time. Order Blossom to clean. No, maybe I'll declare my hatred of photography. She doesn't like me. I can't say I blame her. <laughs> Look at me, I'm really stinking up the whole house. I'm sorry. I think they liked it. They seem really excited. 924, and my professional reputation improved significantly. Seems like all you gotta do is stink up the place and they'll love you. In a nice, Brand new tub. Here you go. Sorry, buddy. Well, anyway, this is a really brief overview, obviously, but I'm gonna be honest with you. This is my favorite pack for The Sims 4. I love this so much. Like, I have had so much fun playing with this, and I've barely even scratched the surface. I think I was definitely a little bit concerned about possible, like, replayability, because this issue comes up a lot with active careers where they get really repetitive. Because this career is so focused on you and your creativity, and not just, like, going to work, talk to a sim. Take x-ray of sim, like the doctor career. Sure, you have to go and talk to people still, but the actual, like, active part of this is you getting to decorate the houses, and that's different every time. You'll get different gigs in each save. The sims will have different likes and dislikes every time. Like, it's never gonna be the same thing over and over again, and I think that's what excites me so much. And it's also kind of cool to get to, like, go around and renovate the town, and then their houses stay that way. Like, now if I go visit the elderberries, <laughs> they're gonna have that walk-in closet. Now, obviously, if you get a gig for like a sim you don't want to renovate for. Like imagine I was related to the munches and I didn't want to like renovate grandma's house because I don't want to ruin it and I like it already. You can just not take that one and do different ones until you get a different client, you know? And so for that reason, I think this pack is really good. Like as far as active careers go, this one is like the active career. It's kind of similar to like running a restaurant and running a vet clinic where you kind of have your own business that's very custom to you and you get to build and decorate it yourself, but with a lot more building and decorating. So if you don't like to decorate houses, this pack is really not for you. Like, if you don't really enjoy building, you're probably not gonna like a pack where the entire focus is on building. But if you're anything like me, this pack is great. For, like, the most experienced builders who love to do, like, full-on architectural digest level homes, or, like, the average simmer who just wants to decorate the inside of their sims house, I think it's got a lot of good stuff for both. And it's also a good, like, intro to building, because with this pack, like, if you start playing through the career, you start off renovating just one room, doing just one bathroom, you know? And then it slowly levels you up into like renovating an entire floor or adding an addition. And that's cool. It like lets you warm up a little bit, you know, and get some practice before you have to actually like destroy someone's house. And you have the option to play at evil. Like you could fully just put all the things they hate in their home and they're stuck with it and they have to pay you for it. And gameplay aside, like just the build features of this makes the pack worth it to me. Like these new sectional sofas and these kitchen sets and the ability to separate the stove and the oven, that alone makes this pack well worth it to me. I am obsessed with this. I am genuinely going to use this pack in every single build from now on. Like, every single one. If I had to pick just one pack to have in The Sims 4, I would pick this one, and I'm not kidding. Most of what I do in The Sims is building, and this pack has stuff for the entire house, for every room. This is, like, life-changing for me. <laughs> I am genuinely obsessed with this pack. This, I think, is the first pack in a long time that I can, like, wholeheartedly, 100% be like, yes, I recommend it, buy it. A lot of the recent packs have been very, like, niche, you know? Especially the game pack. Journey to Batu and Realm of Magic, like, those take a very specific interest, I think, to enjoy them, and I did not really enjoy them. And those packs were not for builders, but this pack, I think, appeals to a lot of people. Even if you're not, like, super invested in building, I'm pretty sure the average Sims player would still have fun with it. And if you are invested in building, you're gonna love it. But you know you and your own interests, you might hate this, and that's cool too. I'm just really happy. This is a really good day for me. I'm gonna be playing through some early access to this pack on my Twitch stream today, so I'll link that down below. And today is the last day of our fundraiser for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. We've raised almost $250,000 for St. Jude this month, and it's the last day. So if you want to drop by, it should be a really, really fun stream. I cannot wait to play this pack more. And of course, I'm going to be posting videos like all week on it because I'm obsessed. So <laughs> prepare yourselves for like rags to riches, some builds. I got a lot of tricks up my sleeve. And on that note, my friends, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below because I am obsessed with this and I think a lot of you might be as well. In my opinion, it's like the best pack they ever made or at least the best game pack ever made. It's just, it's so much fun.